I've known you for quite a few years, and I also know you as a Jedi master <laughs> <laughs> to aspiring actors, because you came from a acting business background mm -hmm. and you bestow a lot of your wisdom and your knowledge to these to this great talent pool of new fresh actors what's some of your career advice i always say like the guaranteed formula for success is as easy as a b and c so what is a b and c a is a a game mentality b is business know-how and c is craft so i cannot imagine any possibility that if you're strong in all three of those areas, how you will not be successful. Like, I think you're guaranteed to be successful. Now, when you'll break through, I can't guarantee that. But if you focus on each of those areas, and a lot of actors, they focus a ton on the craft, which is super important. And I did for many, many, many years, and I still do. But that business side is something that I was really lacking. The business side and the mentality, because for me, I, I used to be someone um, that I call myself a recovering perfectionist who just always wanted to see results like yesterday. But that kind of like energy, that frenetic energy and that it, it like reads in the room, it made it hard for me to like just have fun in auditions and be relaxed. So those areas I really had to work at and really learn in order to start seeing success was to build that really solid foundation. So I would say if you're an aspiring I would say person <laughs> of any, with any career, I think it's just a lot of people focus a lot on the technical side, but not so much the business or the mindset side, because as you know, I'm sure you've heard this business, any business really is a marathon, not a sprint. So I have a company called Career Activate. And so we have a lot of free resources on our website, careeractivate.com. And it's very rewarding to be able to uh, help shortcut other people's journeys by being like, all right, don't do what I did. <laughs> don't do this because that was a mistake. Do this instead because this is what I wish I'd known like you know, well, 10 years activate. ago. <laughs> Tell me some of the things you teach in Career Activate with, for your students. Sure, so it's a mix of like, first like knowing your brand, like what are the things that you're really right for and getting very specific and targeting those type of TV shows, films. Um, we always say get rich in your niche. <laughs> like every major actor, when you, when you think of like, let's say a Tom Cruise film, like you have a certain expectation and that has to do with his brand and that expectation and fulfilling that expectation. So knowing for yourself, what is the expectation you fulfill? Like for me, um, as a personal example, um, when I first started booking TV shows, what I focused on was the party girl. <laughs> you? I know. I know. <laughs> and I didn't get embarrassed easily and I was talkative and bold. I thought and I knew Jonah. <laughs> So because, right, because of those qualities, they were perfect for roles that were like party girls. So like I played uh, uh, like this party girl going to prom in um, like a soap opera, Young the Restless. I played in um, Trophy Wife. I played like a drunk graduating college student. Um, it, like so Bones, I was like the, the um, birthday girl that again, had too much to drink <laughs> and thought David Boreanaz was a male stripper who dressed like a detective. So like there was this thread and by, by focusing on that niche, even was it hundred percent me? No, but like that was something that came very easily to me. Um, and I just, I guess resonated in some way that that allowed me to build up credits. And then, um, me and my team were able to leverage those credits to get me into like other opportunities and different types of roles. So it's been, it's been a while since my uh, party girl days. Aside from the professional aspects of honing your acting identity, mm -hmm. there is also the personal aspect. And I know something resonated with you when you were told you are enough. Mm. It took a long time for you to oh, find your inner peace, to accept yourself, to be yeah. wor worthy. Absolutely. I think, especially in this business, I've, um, like, unfortunately, many other actors and actresses, like, I had just really a terrible relationship with my body and um, I was very critical of myself and just you know I remember back in the day I'd be auditioning and then I would like after leaving the audition I'm like oh my gosh like that audition went so well but I think I was like I like I'm not skinny enough for the role and I would just start crying and just I would beat myself up and always feeling like I'm not enough I'm not enough and I love what Melissa McCarthy said. Uh, one of her quotes was like, "You know, if they wanted, if they uh, if they wanted to 
um, cast someone else, they would cast someone else. And so I'm me, basically, and they want something different, they'll cast someone different. And that kind of mentality is something that um, has been a, a slow <laughs> process of adopting that because like I just, I feel like for a long time I like hated myself and I just hated looking at myself in the mirror and it was really, really challenging to, to really be successful in that kind of mindset state when when you're really self-focused and Part feeling like yourself, yeah and critical. feeling right and feeling like you you don't have anything to offer that you're just hoping that someone gives you something as opposed to like us having power within ourselves and us having so much um, so many gifts and you know we come in all shapes and sizes and you know I I'm very different from you know so and so actor and so and so actor and I think that I did a lot of compare and despair mm. and now for me I'm just like you know what like I want to I love seeing other a Asian actors succeed and before I think I was very like competitive like mm. well if they got a role then that means like I didn't get the role and now I'm like no like the more they're succeeding like Constance Wu I love how much of a stand she's she's taken to like diversity and really being a voice for Asian Americans. Um, and I, the more she's succeeding, the more it helps everyone else. Yeah, Constance Wu and Fresh Off the Boat. Yes, yes, Constant. yep. Are you over it now? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I never have feelings of self-doubt anymore, Lauren. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely no, still. No, <laughs> but do you think that reads in the room, the audition room? Oh, absolutely. Like, I used to work in casting and being in sessions, it's like this energy you can, and you feel sorry for the person, but it's also uncomfortable to watch someone who is looking for validation. So your friend had some great advice, an acting tool, and it involves a mug or a cup. Yes, <laughs> so she said basically before, uh, you know, let's say reaching out to a producer or going in for an audition, she would imagine like, she had her cop, coffee cup, and she would imagine pouring a cup of into the cup and just chugging that thing <laughs> and then that really helped her just be very free and just have fun and I think that that's what for me I was missing for so long was I'm like I really want to book this role I really want to book this role <laughs> you know and that's not fun no one's I'm I'm not having fun in the audition room then and no one watching is going to be having fun in that kind of energy because I was always like very like people pleasing and now mm -hmm. like I've become better um at adopting that kind of mentality like I'm just gonna have fun and if I'm for them great if I'm not then it's it's meant for someone else do you have your own cup now I do actually I made a cup it's an orange <laughs> and silver cup and it says hashtag f and I actually have a couple extras if you want one I want one. <laughs> <laughs> extra, extra large please. right <laughs> and that kind of mindset really helped her through all the stages of auditioning and booking the series regular role on TV you Good know stuff. So, and she was up against like some, like, you know, she had some pretty stiff competition, I would say. Wow. So, all this time I've been drinking caffeine before an audition. I got it all wrong. <laughs> you gotta put the f in it. <laughs>